Is this a long lost recipe or maybe a bit of a fish tail cooked up to help sell a book? On this episode of From What I Gather, I'm making the Charlie Chaplin Trout Recipe. So let's get started. Come on, Luna. All right. Well, when the salmon run is over and you got your freezer packed with deer already, it's time for screwing around at your local pond or lake. Boom! Oh, hey! Oh, oh man. What a tussle. What a tussle. Look at that. They keep ones way smaller than this in all the ice fishing videos I watch. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at, look at, there's three of them, the three of them following this one. That was a little better. Oh, oh jeez. This is it. This is it. This is the one. The one we've been after. Yeah. It's just a piece of wood. Nice piece of wood, though. <laughs> oh, you got him on? Yeah, it's a little trout. Not much juice in that guy. Good trout, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he swallowed that up. Chubby. Chubby little truck trout. Real hard getting a solid hook set with a 24 inch rod. Oh, it's on there, but this is not the big trout I'm after or the catfish. Feels like a real great perch though. Surprise, it's the same size as all of them. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, it's taking off. Oh, oh. This is gonna be a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that'll do. This is gonna be a nice, nice trout. <laughs> there it is. That was a nice trout. Probably one of the better ones I've caught here in a while. Swing him in. <laughs> That's your 17, about a 17 inch trout. <laughs> uh oh, I got something for real. I got a real fish. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna have to walk him back. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Surf them up. <laughs> that is a good, good truck trout. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, I got him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's digging deep, dogging me. Ooh, hoo, 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 look at that! Ah, oh, that's a nice one. Let's get him up here. Skate him up! Yeah! Another big trout. Oh, <laughs> muddy buddy. <laughs> I found 
this recipe in an old cookbook that I got from my dad years ago, and the story goes that the author went to visit a broken down guest house in Tasmania that was a popular fishing destination for notable personalities sometime in the early 1900s. He finds a guest book in there, and inside it there's an entry by Charlie Chaplin thanking the proprietors for the trout dinner. The author then writes that he set out to find what they had served. Well, he didn't need to set out far because he goes on to write that the recipe was written right there in the guest book. Convenient? Maybe a little too convenient. Well, regardless of the origin, the recipe seems easy to make and sounds really tasty, and I've wanted to make it for a long time now, so I finally got off my butt and got out there and caught me a nice big trout and got some nice chanterelles, and now I'm going to put this thing together. Well, let's take a look at the ingredients. The ingredients for this recipe are really simple, and it starts with one whole two kilo trout, which would be a massive trout for me to catch around here. Well, I wasn't able to catch that four and a half pounder, but I did get this beauty right here that's coming in right at two pounds, or just under a kilo. Next, we've got 200 grams of wild mushrooms, or button mushrooms if you can't get the wild mushrooms, and that just seemed a little weak to me, and not even representative of the picture that's in the cookbook, so I'm using a full pound of chanterelles. Next, we've got a glass of Riesling. Now, a glass of wine can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, so I'm going with a six ounce pour, or three quarters of a cup. I've got a cup of heavy cream, so this recipe doesn't shy away from the richness, which I love and the juice of a lemon, and I'm gonna finish that off with some fresh chopped parsley. My instinct would be to add a couple of cloves of garlic to this, but since it's the first time I'm making this, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stick with the ingredients that are in the book, and we're gonna see how this comes out. Once I start cooking, this dish is gonna come together really fast, so I wanna prep all of my ingredients before that trout even hits the grill. And I'm gonna start by cleaning and slicing my chanterelles. Now, I don't use water to clean my chanterelles, I just take a paper towel, wipe away any of the big chunks, and make sure there are no residual pine needles left on there. So I've got my grill preheating to kind of medium-high flame, and the first thing I want to do is get this thing's skin as dried off as I can, and this is going to help it from sticking to the grill. Then I'll season it really well inside and out with salt and pepper. I've got my grill nice and hot, about medium-high flame, and it's nice and clean and oiled. And right before I put that trout on there, I'll dab that with a little bit of oil. Then, slap that baby right on there. Now I'll close the lid down, and we're gonna give this about seven minutes on the side. Now while that's out there grilling, let's put together the sauce. I'm going to start by melting a tablespoon of butter into a pretty hot pan here. I'm going medium high, so I want to get my mushrooms in here before that butter burns. Now, as you're cooking the mushrooms, you'll see pretty quick that a whole lot of water is going to start coming out of those. I want to cook these down and evaporate off most of that water and at that point these guys will be like little sponges ready to soak up any flavors we put in here. There we go, it's been four minutes and you'll see most of that moisture is gone and now it's ready to take on some flavor so I'll throw in a pinch of salt and then we'll go in with that Riesling. And we're going to keep the heat pretty high and do the exact same thing. I'm going to reduce that wine way down, probably by like three quarters. All right, we're looking good. Now, hit this other side with some oil. Let's roll that baby over. Hopefully we don't stick it off. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Oh, that's pretty. 
All right, another seven minutes and we'll pull this. Now most of that wine has evaporated. A lot of it's soaked into the mushrooms. Now I'm gonna reduce the temp just a little bit down to about a medium high and I'm gonna go in with the cream. Oh, 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 oh man, that's a lot of cream. Now again, I'm going to bring this up to a boil and reduce this down until the sauce gets just as thick as I want it. Keep moving around so you don't scald that cream too much. Now that's starting to get just about as thick as I want it. Coats a spoon really nicely. So I'm going to bring the heat way down. I'm going to taste this and salt and pepper it. Mm. Not too far off. It's just a pinch of salt. And I do think that will benefit from a nice dose of pepper. And now, that's just about ready. So to finish it off, I'll put in a big pinch of that parsley. Just for that fresh pop. And my lemon juice. And that is a lot of lemon juice. To be honest with you, I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> what the recipe calls for so we're gonna give it a shot now just as soon as that starts to simmer I'm gonna call it done and there we are oh yeah that is looking good oh yeah didn't stick at all either now let's pull that baby oh yeah check that out <laughs> I'll put some of that sauce down on the plate. I want to save the rest for pouring over the top of that trout. Let's bring that guy in here. Woo, still pretty hot. Oh yeah. Now, bring the rest of that sauce in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That looks awesome. Now let's see how we did. And regardless of how this tastes, that is a beautiful presentation. You bring this to the table and people are gonna talk. But what really matters is how this thing tastes. So, let me get in here. We'll break off a chunk of this trout shoulder meat up here. Oh, that is nice. If you've never taken apart a trout, you can just break it apart right along the center line. And then you got a couple of nice, nice loin sections, I guess, up here. over and of course get some of that sauce I can tell you right now if this was a full kilo of trout you would definitely want more of this sauce all right the skin is nice and crispy of course if you don't want to eat the skin you just peel that right away but I kind of like it Woo! Check out that bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, growing up, I ate so many trout that I kind of got bored with it. But now that I'm older, I've come back around and I really just want to learn as many ways to cook it as I can. And this one is definitely a keeper. Trout's a really delicate tasting fish, and lemon is always a good choice to make it pop. Plus, it really balances out with the richness of the cream. And the chanterelle mushrooms, I'll take those anytime I can get them. They're really delicious. Now this sauce is great with the trout, but I can tell you it would be really good with a piece of grilled chicken 
or even a pork chop. It's just got a great balance of tartness and richness that'll match all kinds of different dishes. Is this an authentic recipe endorsed by Charlie Chaplin? I'll never know. But if it is, he had excellent taste because this is a fantastic way to cook a trout. And it's even better that it's sourced from ingredients I could find right around my neighborhood. So wherever you are, I hope you can get out there and have the time of your life and then come home and make a dish to remember. Thanks for watching.